FileZilla is a free FTP application that can be used to transfer files over the internet. So it can be an invaluable tool for anyone who is a website developer. However, as FileZilla is not supported in Chrome OS, in order to install and run it, we will need to use Linux development environment. As we've already done this in a previous video, let's open the LDE menu and load a Linux terminal window by selecting Penguin. First, we're going to check that the instance of Linux we are using is up to date. So at the command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get update, when we press enter on our keyboard, Linux will check for updates. When we are once again presented with a command prompt, if we type sudo apt-get dist-upgrade, after pressing enter on the keyboard, any updates that Linux has found will be installed onto our computer. We are now ready to install FileZilla. However, so that installing software in our instance of Linux is easy, in a previous video we installed a software management utility called Flatpak. The Flatpak command for installing FileZilla is sudo flatpak install flathub org dot filezilla project dot filezilla when we press enter flatpak searches for the filezilla package that we need to install and prompts us to confirm that we wish to make changes to our system installation if we type y for yes filezilla will install into our instance of linux we now need to wait until we're informed that the installation is complete when we are once again presented with a command prompt, we can type exit to close our terminal window. We can also close the LDE menu and try and load FileZilla. If we open the launcher and search for a folder called Linux Apps, within the Linux Apps folder, we will find an icon for FileZilla. When we select this icon, FileZilla will load However, the speed that it loads will be dependent on the specification of your Chromebook. Don't forget that while FileZilla appears to be running natively on our Chromebook, it is in fact running in a virtual instance of Linux installed within Chrome OS. This means that while you can see and use the FileZilla application, Chrome OS and Linux cannot see each other. So for example, if you use FileZilla to download a file from a server, in order to see that file in Chrome OS, you will need to move that file to a location where Chrome OS can see it. So we recommend that you look at creating a shared folder so that you can share files between Linux and Chrome OS.